Greetings, I am Lass. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Let's yes. learn a uh, chain of command together. Because Which is hells, super great. Yeah, it's so useful. Who and uh, who? You'll meet them soon enough. I think not. Above all, do not bug Francine. She's practically retired. Let her enjoy that retirement in peace. Come, Prindo. Relax, I got this. Stress feeds me, makes me strong. Uh, this isn't my first pony ride, you can rely on me. But 911 for huge emergencies, right? I would imagine first pony ride. I was Honestly, say, that those two are a little bit too much. I was gonna say, relax, I got this. Yeah, not so much. Um, for, I, I, I kind of feel like, honestly, while they've got an intense one there, that feels playful to me, so I like that they have the intensity there. Right. So, like, these little identifiers are really helpful to me of going, what kind of a response is this? Because I would have thought, relax, I got this. Streds feeds me, make me strong. But that's clearly not the way it is. That's clearly defensive because of the star thing. Right. This is more aggressive in your face. So, yeah, this isn't my first pony ride. You can rely on me. We've had a lot of jobs. Yep, let's do it. We got it. Pep. This is not my first explosive ordinance test. I've worked retail and food service, and I've worked as a lifeguard at a pool. Managing stress and difficult situations, even life or death ones, is something I've got a lot of ex I've got experience in. You can rely on me. Uh oh. Oh. We we made friends, I guess. Hi. We didn't impress Francine like that. No. I wonder if that's specifically a dateable characteristic. I honestly, it might be. It might be. Like, yeah. that would be interesting. Gavin nods approvingly. You know, as much as unthorough as that tutorial was, I was so surprised by that little plus uh -huh. I'm like, where did that come from? That was really cute, though. It Honestly, was very I cute. really like, liked it. And you're like, oh. Uh, oh, well, hello oh. to you, too. Greetings. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> it's fine. We it's don't fine. even know. He nods approvingly. All right, good. Indeed. Good. I like to hear that. If you can handle yourself and exercise good judgment, You'll last a hell of a lot longer than the last guy who sat there. Everyone is sat you there. They're not like and honest with me. Ooh. Do your work. Do it well. We'll get along swimming. Good to know. Hey, good. I like I, the one that he's the official one. Yeah. Honestly, I appreciate the 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 the, the fact that it's sort of breaking the stereotype. I have enough problems keeping this magical arc of hopes and wishes afloat. Please don't add to my problems. That's a little intense, but you're right. M magical arc of. What now? Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's the <laughs> arc that he's talking about. Gavin sighs again, a stress release gesture. I uh, we're really certain about these things. It's not like I assume it's for stress. It's just that's what that is. We are into body language and knowing what it means. But his expression softens somewhat afterwards. I take it Francine told you her theory. That this is more than just a job. More than just an arcade. Uh only vaguely. That's my understanding. <sighs> I'm not into dressing up words. I like to speak plain. If I'm Kurt, then that's because optimization is a factor of my job. Yep, you really yes. are the guy who manages and keeps everything from bottling up and freaking out. He yep. also is really going the, this might be my job, but I take it very seriously and very personally to my own personal standards, more so than the owner of the business would even do. Yes. Like he is like, this is a personal investment for me and I have a lot of pride in this fucker. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, watch Everybody me. working here? wants to work here this is where they belong for one reason or another how's it pay how's oh it? Sorry. It pay? sorry i know i hate to to you know just sort of dig into it's a dream but i really want to know if it's going to pay the bills yeah because I, I might die otherwise me yeah. i love chaos i love wrangling chaos specifically that's adorable is that why you just said that it's high risk high reward i manage that risk so that they can also find happiness in their lives that's you adorable. Everybody in this business has a dream they're chasing. It's a fragile thing, prone to getting crushed by hard reality. I'm also just like, that's a lot of intense statements there. He's like, I am this thing. I am the bastion. I am the center and the core of this. I do it all. But like, he's well, also you're aware. very aware. Yeah, like, honestly, some people I think will take that as being very arrogant, but mm. I actually like that. No, and I wasn't taking it necessarily as arrogant. I was just going, that's very matter of fact, and he knows mm. exactly where he intends to stand and that he believes he's there. Yes. Which is wild and kind of cool. Uh, and, and really nice, actually. Like, I know sometimes, again, it's that hard thing as you're getting older of going, like, where can I say that I'm actually good at things? Because I was always taught that basically when you say, I'm good at this thing, that's really arrogant. So that reminds me really a lot of, like, Bruce Lee. So one of the best martial artists oh, our God, country yeah. has ever known. People would ask him, are you really that good? 
<laughs> and all the time. Like the first question he would get in the same way that, you know, some basketball players would go, oh my God, you're so tall. It's just the, are you really that good, right? Right. And he would say, in America, you can't answer yes, because if you say yes, you're arrogant and you know, you're self-possessed basically. And you're, you know, you're obviously not right because you have too high of an opinion of yourself. But if you say no, people know you're lying because they've seen what you can do. So there is no way to answer about your own skill in the American language. Yes. And I loved that, honestly, that he was really just like, we have set ourselves up culturally that if you say I know what I'm good at, unless it's under exactly the right context, you are being an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... So anyway. Catch 20, as I think uh, I like to call it. 22. 22. Oh, catch 22. Right, right. You, you, you dropped the two. to see to it. That never happens. Uh, you are fantastic. I, I admire your skills. That includes Francine. Aww. Who deserves better in her twilight years than desperately propping up a semi-failing business? Aww, you He's feel. like, I respect her and what she's doing, and if I'm going to contribute to something, I want to contribute to something that I find meaningful, including her comfort. Hmm. That's great. So, you find some value in this place beyond your salary, and you'll burn out. Trust me. Last guy to sit there burned out hard. Okay. Now, can I trust you to mess with our merry mistress? All right, uh, since I don't know any of them, I don't know. But I was just—I was just gonna say, for me, a paycheck really is all that's required. Like I am My that weird, weird little one percent where I'm like, if you pay me what I want to be paid that I feel fits with my life, I will literally be that one person that can stand still and do nothing but turn a crank in a circle for twelve hours a day without going, oh god, I can't stand this. Like it doesn't matter. I can do the annoying task. I can do the boring task. I can do the sit at a desk and stare at a wall. If that's if I want that pay and I'm willing to do what's described to me, I will not get tired of doing it. Yeah. Yes. Because for me, it's a very equal relationship. This is what equals that pay. Done. Yes. And, and I've had people going, I don't understand how you can do this. And I'm like, because in my mind, I want that pay. And this thing that I am willing to do, if I'm willing to do it, I'm willing to do it basically across the board. Yes. I don't get tired of being willing to do it. Yes. So, so yeah, I, I am that person that could be like, yeah, sure. I conceptually hate this job, but the money is exactly what I want from this and it doesn't hurt me. So I'm done. Good. Yep, Perfect. Done. I can walk home and I can walk away from the job. Done. And it doesn't matter. Yep. All right. Misfits. Since I haven't met any of your merry band of misfits, I feel like I'd be lying to say yes. Oh, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out why. Why so aggressive? I just got started here. No problem at all. I'm a model employee. You are not, in my opinion, yeah, a model, model employee. employee. Holy cow. Uh, I, okay. What question, actually. I don't... Why so aggressive? I just got started here. I don't think he's specifically being aggressive, but I can feel how people he's could blunt. take it that way. Yes. Yes. And part of him saying, I am blunt, is letting him know, and letting you know, this is how I operate. This I think you'd be honest angry. again with this going, like, I'm still trying to figure out my why. We did say that, going, we don't know why. We're trying to get some hope. Like, I'm still trying to understand. See, and I almost feel like so I want somewhere in between the first two, because the character feels like they're being a little bit defensive of, like, whoa, you came on strong kind of thing. Right. But I, I think still trying to figure out our why could work as long as, you know, basically it came with the proper vocal context. Right. All right. So let's try let's that try one, it. then. To be honest, I'm still sorting out why I'm here what my dream is but i'm not here to step on anyone else's dreams in the process i'm here to do my best at supporting everyone hey I, he was happy with that one too okay fascinating uh, good to hear i'd say we share similar views then it'll be a pleasure to work with someone who's actually enthusiastic and competent i hope oh <laughs> and hopefully this hive of weirdness will help you find your dreams along the way Yep. I, I hope so too. Including honestly. if you are a dateable oh. option, uh, that uh, perhaps you will be one of our dreams. Ha 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 ha. Tee hee hee. Anyway, I need to go prepare your paperwork. Technically, you shouldn't be working until we've crossed the I's and dotted the T's. Uh, wait. I but, mean, it's uh, true. No, like, no, we have crossed the I's. Oh, God. Cross the eyes and dot oh, the T's. Oh, I had God. to check. Because with dyslexia, sometimes I project and I assume things, but that's... It really does say cross the eyes. I wonder really if he's fun. being playful suddenly, and that's kind of charming. But that anyway, okay, charming. here we go. But. But since I'm already sitting here, you'd rather I stick around? That would be accurate. If you're willing to fudge things a little bit and work today anyway, it helps out a lot. Now, if you don't mind, Naomi likely could use a hand in the workshop. A good opportunity to introduce yourself as well. The what? Where? Yeah, the huh? workshop? What? Got it. Wait, someone else is here? And there's a thing called a workshop? I haven't been given the tour, and I haven't seen anyone else. Hi, that is actually a good question. Where is? Yeah, 
That sounds like Naomi. I yeah. hiding. A ghost. All right, good. So I'll just know that about my fellow employee. Cool. Her workshop's through that door there. And one, the one next to the UFO character. Catcher. Catcher. The crane game, to use the layman's terms. Okay. I, oh, way over there. Way over there. So on the behind other side. the other side. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. The crane game, to use layman's terms. I didn't know they called them UFO catchers. I didn't know that either. That's great. That's fascinating. All right. Mm. Satisfied for now, Gavin heads into the back, uh, presumably to the office to go crunch some numbers. If Francine's really taking a nap back there, hopefully he's going to crunch quietly. Chomp, I mean, chomp, I chomp, assume chomp, they have. Chomp. Separate. Ooh, numbers. What flavor? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, crispy. Uh, in hindsight, I wouldn't call Gavin stuck up, I suppose. I bet, depending on how you interact with that conversation, you then have a different opinion You of probably him. do afterwards. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, I'm not sure what to make of him. He was blunt, like a baseball bat, sure, but uh, he seems to get Francine's ideals and really care about this place. There's, oh, that little door. Oh, God, it is actually there. That's yeah. so good. I still Again. really like this game. Yeah, the words match the visuals. That's great. Yeah, that's really thoughtful. No, 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 please, go ahead. Like, I'm just like, dang, like, I am super satisfied with that. That just makes me really happy. Mm -hmm. I want to know where the ticket counter is, like, if it's over here where we're standing I think kind it of is. thing. I was like, because I'd like to see a full floor map of this. Not that it's required in any way. But yes, again, I'm really pleased that the words and the visuals match up together. We've run into so many times where they really don't. This is lovely. I should go meet my next coworker, this Naomi, that he mentioned. Another, although I could swear Francine and I were the only ones here until now, Naomi is a ghost. A double door, also marked employees only, also with an apostrophe, leads from the arcade floor to what feels like an industrial area of some sort. Okay, so that's not the door we're talking about, because that's a double door that we can't see. Uh, is it like in here and around the corner maybe there's a maybe. double door? Yeah, maybe. I turn the handle and step inside. Yeah, I imagine that's like an open door and there's an entryway to the double door. I've mm -hmm. seen those. Yeah. Let's oh dear. Find out. Oh that boy. door sound was amazing. Like, it's very final. Oh. oh no, this is adorable. Do they do game repair back here? They do. More can see there are more cabinets, arcade cabinets back I'm just here. like, is this Penguin Studios? Because I know it's There's not. There's so many penguins. So many penguins. What They're is the so penguin cute. joke? I, I want it. in on the penguin joke. I love the little testers and the diodes and things. I feel like all the tools aren't quite right here, given that I have actually worked in computer hardware manufacturing, and I want like a little um, diode tester wand so badly to see like don't where they, the circuits are running or not, and I'm not seeing that. that. I see. I don't think that's maybe that's what that is, and it's a variety. Of, maybe the yellow it's thing is one what you're that is, not familiar one with. One I'm not familiar yeah. with. That could be. All right. I love that there's just little buttons sitting out here though and stuff, uh -huh. and that you see, yeah, the cabinet stripped apart. Oh, this one got crunched. Like, oh whoa. no, somebody might have punched it. Oh dear. Or something. Someone flinging their hands up throws their phone into Super it, angry. loses their phone ah! and the thing. I wow. All right. A little room tucked away between the back offices and the funplex front. I find what is very likely this Naomi, spoken only of spoken only of in myth and legend. I like how sarcastic <laughs> and playful we are. Honestly, it's really charming. It is very appealing. I'm also like the old L C D monitor and like how huge it is is so good. Oh no, she looks like a disorganized nerd instantly. So based on like posture and the drawings that I'm familiar with, I'm like disorganized nerd. A girl about my age, but certainly not my height, is tinkering away on what looks like an old tube-style monitor. Okay, so shorter or taller? Hi. Huh. I didn't realize they had so many circuits. You don't seem very technical, technologically inclined, my dear. She doesn't notice me when I come in, too busy soldering a capacitor into place. Yes, that is good and correct. Good job. The lingering smell of melting metals fills the air of the poorly ventilated workshop. That's you know what, no let good. me just open this the window, because honestly, you need ventilation. Solder fumes and flux fumes will, are a nightmare. Will hurt you. Oh, yeah, God. Gotta be real careful. Ugh. Uh, I don't want you to burn yourself, but, uh, excuse me? Hmm. For lack of a better way to interrupt her. Hey, good job, friend. Ha 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 ha. I was worried no matter what I did, she might, I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Uh -huh. Burn her fingers or jump so high she hit the ceiling or something. Unfortunately, the shock's not quite that intense. Oh, fortunately. Uh, oh. Oh. Do you want to do uh, this one or you want me oh, to? Oh, um, hello? Hi. Uh, she has a hey, name tag. Uh, you know this room is for employees only. It's okay. I don't have the uh, uniform yet, but I am it is totally an employee. The little symbol of the funplex. That's great. Uh huh. That's that adorable. Is. Also, she's got the little game controller and the one up, and like she's got the buttons. She's got the flare. It's adorable. 
She said, with no apostrophe. Are, are you oh, right. Do, do you need something? <gasps> oh my god, our so fixation cute. on the grammar is so charming. It's kind of hilarious. I'm just laughing my butt off. This is adorable. Also, I'm also like, that. Hey. Go, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was no, just going to say, that number of keys either suggests a wide array of doors here uh -huh. that we haven't gone through, or it's a very small number of like cabinet access keys, and a lot of them have shared key. Right. I was going to say, they showed her back. Yes. Like, they're interacting with the character, basically models, the sprites. They're doing interesting, diverse things with them. They're not just a model that's there or is static. Like, they move around, and they shift, and it's so good. I know. You know what I have not seen in every dating game we've ever played? The back of a character. Uh. Like, ever. And you know what? We've talked about the back of characters before and the implied things on them. I'm not totally talking about someone's hair at all. Nope, not at uh, all. Nope, not even. I, if you want that reference, you're going to need to go watch My Mystic Dragons because his hair looks amazing. But anyway, uh, I love that too. Like, that's a really good thing. Like, I was a little thrown off when I saw it, but I didn't make the full conscious connection of going, people don't draw other views of the sprites. What they usually do is a separate illustration that's a still frame. Right. Um, if they're showing any other angle of them or whatever, or at least that's what I've seen. It's, it's the special, what I think is interesting that they call it CG, because, okay, guys, to me, CG just means computer graphics. And guess yeah. what? As far as I can tell, this is all computer graphics. Right, the whole so that, game. It's, so that seems really redundant. Why is it called a CG? So here's a question that maybe people should, like, if they can answer it. What do you think the reason is for it being called a CG? Because to me, growing up, like CGI, for example, was computer graphic interface or something like computer that. Computer generated? Computer generated images. Images, yeah, go. Yeah. And then also going like, so does it mean computer generated? Does it mean computer graphics? Uh -huh. What does it mean? Like, I don't understand. It's, it's confusing to me. Yeah, and for me, it has always been computer graphics. And I'm like, the entire game is computer graphics. So right. how is this one picture? Because to me, that always was just digital art. Right. And if I saw it as, yeah, they, they put a special DG in, I'd be like, oh, or DA, a special digital art. Right? You well, know? I'd be like, or a premium scene, PS. Yeah, you know? I know. Or, or if it's not paid for, it's just a fancy portrait of or, them. Or PA, premium art, you yeah. know? Like, that would make sense or to me. Or just call it a portrait shot, you know? Right? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm not familiar why they're called CGs. All right. I'm Last Candle. I'm the new floor attendant, starting today. Like, starting <gasps> right now. Oh. Like, this minute. Hi. <laughs> I didn't realize Francine already found someone. Yeah, she she didn't realize that I either. I guess I forgot to check my text. <laughs> Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> She's adorable. That's very cute. She spares a glance at her phone on the nearby workbench, where a huge stack of green notifications messages, notification messages lie in wait. She's like, <laughs> it's a <laughs> lot of work to, um, you know. Be me. <laughs> yeah. And connect with other people. I, I prefer like tech. technology to people. Yeah, that one, I was just, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I prefer my tech. Yes, my friend's got it. One thought comes to mind on actually seeing her. No wonder I didn't notice her until now. She was totally focused on the task at hand. I always assumed retro arcade nerds were fat, middle-aged guys. Oh, Ooh, wow. wow. That's a little aggressive. That is, that is not an assumption that I've ever had at all. I, um, unless we're making a Simpsons reference. Oh, you know, kind of with the guy, the comic book nerd I mean, guy. the reason that they make him like that, though, is because they're making an assumption. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying, like, that's the more, like, classic. Is what? it? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, it's so like I have... the, it's like the neckbeard mentality. Have you ever seen that one where the assumption of what that is, which so I think is terrible? You are the one that has vaguely taught me what neckbeard even I is or means. Mean. So okay, I'm so not that's really fair. familiar. So between my friend and myself, I've actually had a lot more weird exposure in other areas. But then my friend's like, I have all this other exposure. And I go, oh. What we've mostly well. got is a Venn diagram with maybe a 30% overlap. And that is where <laughs> our friendship lies. Yay! <laughs> I think I think in our entire knowledge base we're probably more up to like 50% by now but all the time and honestly this this activity of doing let's Plays has helped us get to know a lot more about each other as far as our histories backgrounds and exposure have gone right it's been fascinating because there's all these jumping off points that don't normally come up in regular conversation mm -hmm. um, so honestly if you want to let's play within your friends I recommend it or just play a video game companionably and start conversation even if you're not like sharing it with others right because it's been an experience it is not required, though, also to share things with everyone else. You guys can just share them with each other. That's, That's the one what thing. I mean. Yeah, like, I, I, I really have to say that this has been one of the more fun things I think that I've done with my time, and I do not regret it. It is 
a lot of entertainment. But oh. other than that, so in the next one, we are actually going to answer her. Yay! Yay! So thank you very much, guys, then, for joining us. Um, if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm. And please also feel free to go check out our uh, Patreon or our Ko-Fi. We've got some links in the description down below if you'd like to support us, if you'd like to sponsor us. Um, that would also be awesome. Or if you just like to tip us because you think we're cool. Yep. Um, other than that, I have been Scandal. And uh, also, if you want to see more of our nonsense, we post occasionally on Instagram and Tumblr and Twitter. Um, you're welcome to find us there. And I have been Lies. And, and it was great, great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.